Tim Hafer and I'll welcome back to Four Running Shoes. Sorry, this video is once again late. Work has been crazy. I didn't get home till about 10 o'clock on Tuesday. I wasn't going to make a, a video then and I didn't get to it yesterday either. Uh, I am recording this the day it's coming out Thursday. Sorry Tim, I know yours is coming out later today as well, so we've got a double upload today. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what I'm doing at the moment and what my plans for the next little while are. So I have been uh, taking this season as a bit of a rest season. I had a, a couple of weeks where I just had the kind of one run um, in the week just to you know, see how my body was going. It's pulled up really well after my marathon at the end of November, so I, I couldn't really be much happier with how that's tracking. I actually didn't end up running at all last week. I wanted to, like I was planning on having a couple of runs, but just due to uh, so many nights getting home really late <laughs> um, due to work or due to just other things going on this time of year, I didn't get there. You know, there were a couple of gigs, there, were, there was work-related things, and it was just really, really busy. It's just been a really busy time. So I didn't actually end up getting any runs in. I want to transition to running in the morning again soon, but um, being so fatigued just from work and all the other stuff going on, I and you know the last couple of years of work for the year, so the school year, I recognise it wasn't the right time to be doing that while I was working the busiest time, very literally, uh, in the last year, the last couple of weeks have been. So didn't end up running last week, which wasn't ideal, but uh, it's been good to have. It's been timely to be able to take a little bit of time off, so. I'm, I'm taking that. I'm, I'm not beating myself up over that. I am dropping a little bit of fitness, but you know, that's to be expected after the marathon. I'm not going to drop nearly as much fitness as I did after my previous one. I've not got no injury and next week I'm going to be getting back into it. And I'm going to take it reasonably easy between now and the end of the year. I'll kind of get one or two runs in per week and then we'll start up again uh, in January. So uh, it's been a big year. I'm going to talk next week about my year in sport. I'm going to do my year in sport review using Strava. Um, uh, there's a couple of goals that I absolutely got. You know, running two marathons was huge. Uh, I didn't quite get, I, I was quite a bit short of running the 2,000 kilometers I had planned. That's something that I'm now thinking about next year, what my goals are going to be. And I'm starting to think about my next marathon. So I don't think that I'm going to be able to do two in a year. I think that was too much, actually. Not necessarily, you know, my body held up fairly well. It's just the other things that I need to be aware of or um, factoring in when running a marathon. Like there's the three months of fairly intentional and intense training leading up to that. And doing it twice in a year was, I think for me, a bit much. So next year, I'm just going to run one. I'm looking at timing that so that it's, you know, not overlapping other busy seasons that are going on. So I'm looking at kind of May. I'll talk about that in a couple of weeks uh, when I'm talking about my 2024 goals, but I'm yeah looking at forwards to that. And uh, I'm hoping to get a speed training season in as well at some point, but we'll talk about that in the future as well. Um, yeah, so really, Tim, I'm just taking it pretty easy at the moment. I'm looking forward to sharing my year in sport next week, and I'm looking forward to seeing your next video, uh, which is coming out later today. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and we'll see you next time.